Hello and welcome. I'm Seth and today what I want to discuss with you is the coordinate system that SurfCam uses. And I want to talk about the difference between uh, world view and sea view or construction view. Okay, the three dimensional design environment that SurfCam uses has two different types of XYZ coordinate systems. Okay, those are the world coordinate system and the local coordinate system. Now, the world coordinate system uses the global origin. This is your world uh, coordinate indicator here. It uses the global origin, and that never moves. <clears throat> That's always going to stay the same. Your local coordinate system uses a local origin that you have to set. This is your local origin indicator here. Um, as you rotate your, your part, you can see the orientation of the the views change. Now whenever you create geometry um, it's SurfCam is going to create it on the current construction view that is set. So it's extremely important that you that you understand uh, the difference between these and that you have that you know how to select the the correct C view before you start creating creating any geometry. Okay, now let's talk about these buttons up here for a minute. <clears throat> these are your view buttons. When you click on it, you can see that there's eight standard views in SurfCam. This button uh, strictly deals with how you're looking at your part or your, your line of vision with the part. Okay, you're, you're not going to change this to do uh, any machining or, or drawing on different planes. This is just how you're looking at your part. Now this this button here switches you back between local coordinates and world coordinates. Okay? Or your your world coordinate system and your uh, local coordinate system which uses your construction view. This is called the parent child button. Now I'm gonna have another a separate tutorial just on how to how to set parent child views. Okay? This is your construction view button. This is the the most important one here. Okay, you click it. It's got the same uh, eight standard views. This one deals with the position and the direction of the local coordinate system, which is what you you will eventually have to change uh, in order to to put your part in a machinable state so that you can program it. All right, so. So just remember that this button deals with how you're looking at your part and the global coordinate system. The C view button deals with uh, your your local coordinate system and the position and direction that you'll need to set your part in to be able to machine it. All right, so let's uh, go to this layer here and talk about it for just a second this is just a cube that I've designed real quick in SolidWorks just for the purposes of this tutorial just to kinda make it easier to uh, explain this now you have to kinda picture this as if uh, your part is sitting in a vise on the machine okay the your, your mill is going to use these three axes to to machine this part now your Z is is where the spindle is going to be and it's going to have the end mill or your, your cutting tool in it okay and then the table is going to travel this way for y and that way for x so if you're a lot of times um, if you open up a part a model of a part it'll be orientated in, in a weird crazy way and that's because uh, sometimes the, their, the part models are pulled straight out of an assembly of a model of a whole assembly and you know the person sending them to you won't take the time to orientate it how you need it that's going to be your job when you get it so a lot of times when you open up part files they'll be you know in some crazy position off in space and it's important to understand this because you have to to have a good understanding of the views and how they work in order to orientate your part correctly so that you can machine it now there's there's two ways to do that you can either physically rotate your part which uh, I'm going to be covering in <clears throat> in an upcoming tutorial, or you can create a construction view 
to machine the part and what's what's neat about this button is um, when you when you set construction views it retains the associativity associativity between surfcam and and SolidWorks so if you bring a part in from SolidWorks uh, if you physically rotate it <coughs> then it breaks that associativity but if you create a construction view then it, it keeps associated with the with the surf cam file so that if if the design engineers have to make a change you can just go in SOLIDWORKS and change it and it will automatically update in surf cam if your system is on a server uh, and I, that's something that I'll get more into later also uh, for right now what what I want to cover is try to explain um, the relationship between these and the difference between world coordinates and, and local coordinates okay so right now my local coordinate system is what what I'm going to use to machine this part and it's set 000 is set right here alright and so down here is my world coordinate system now remember me saying this button only deals with how you're looking at your part okay and it's it's in relationship to the current C view that you're using so right now we're using the C view of top so if we want to look at the corresponding world coordinate view of C view 1 we can double click if we want to see the front we can double click front now you notice that your 000 has not changed it's still where it was to begin with right there okay now if you click front it's going to change the view it's it's just going to change how you're looking at the part that that's it it's just um, mainly for visual reference okay all that changed is how I see it on the screen so this is view 2 in relationship to construction view 1 and the same if you just go down here and click these all it's doing is showing you the view of the current construction view it can be a little confusing uh, at first I, I know it was for me but uh, well, you just kind of have to to play with it, and 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 you'll get it. Now, this button is you can toggle it back between view coordinate systems and world coordinate systems. Okay, so if I've got my my construction view on front, then I can look at it in view coordinates, or I can look at it in world coordinates. Now you see when you change your, if you change this from top to front, see how your uh, axis indicator here has has changed. Now if I if I if I this is world coordinates right here, okay. Now if I click this, it's going to show me view coordinates. See which is on front. Okay. If I put it on back, it's going to show me the back, bottom, bottom. Now if you turn this off, it's going to go back to the world coordinate system which we're we're at top top view right now okay so um, top is the only machinable view then you got back front right side left side and bottom up there so it's this button is all how you're looking at your part this is how you would actually rotate the part if you needed to rotate it or create create a custom construction view, now I'm I'm not going to get into uh, custom construction views until after we get through drawing 2D and and 3D geometry. Okay. Um, now I and and the very the very next upcoming tutorial uh, is going to be how to rotate your part. So you. Now that that has more to do with views also, uh, okay. And, and then I'll have another uh, recap on on understanding views after that because this is this is extremely important. You have to know this. You're going to need to understand this, um, and from not, from now out you'll use it, okay. So you kind of you need to understand the different views and how to rotate them and and how to change them. Because that's gonna you you will definitely see that again, and 99% of the time you have to 
you have to move your part in some way to be able to machine it. All right. Uh, thanks for listening. I, I hope I explained that where you can understand it. And tune in for the next tutorial on how to rotate your part. Thanks. Talk to you soon.